Hello, what's up? In this video, I'll be showing you the best ways to get the most professional kind of skin tones for dark skin and medium skin kind of subjects when it comes to Photoshop. So in this tutorial, we're going to be understanding and going into the two steps to use when it comes to uh, achieving the best kind of skin tone. So if at all you find the video helpful, simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching and you don't need to subscribe to this channel. So for this very image, you're going to use the first step that is using the empty layer kind of option. And later on, we can make it more achievable or make it even better. So in order to achieve this, you can see this image is lacking enough contrast regarding skin tone. Yes, first of all, going to come to the adjustments and simply come and add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Then come and take up the contrast slightly. So the skin tones can have more contrast. You can see right now the image looks better than where we started. And after adding that contrast into the image, the next step is simply going to be coming and creating a stamp visible by pressing Shift, Option, Command E on the keyboard. That is for Mac. Then for Windows, it is Shift, Alternate, Control E on the keyboard, create a stamp visible layer. And this layer is going to be acting as a backup. And after creating that new field adjustment layer we are simply going to come to select and come to subject so that we can automatically select the subject in this case so we're going to let photoshop select the subject for us and sometimes it can do a great job and other times it can leave out some specific areas so I'll just come to this quick selection tool and make sure it is on the plus icon and i'll just come and add this area of the image into or to be part of the selection so just click just like that to add that into the selection and after adding that to the selection simply come to the adjustments rather to the layer option and create an, an empty layer change its plane mode from normal and change it to color so after doing that just come to the brushes right click and get the brush tool and under this make sure the hardness set to zero soft round brush is selected make sure the mode is set to normal or pass in the flat 100 percent so what we want to do in this case we just want to sample a color on the skin tone of the model that we want the rest of the skin to look like so with the brush tool selected we're just going to zoom into the image by using ctrl plus or you can use command plus on the keyboard and sample a color on the skin so hold down the option key on the keyboard or you can hold down the alternate key on, on the keyboard to bring up the color picker tool and simply sample or pick the color that we want from the skin. So the color we choose at this point is what we want the rest of the skin to look like. And what is left is simply getting the brush tool and painting over the skin. So reduce on the size, if at all you're painting on a small area. So to reduce or increase on the size of the brush tool, we can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard to play around with different sizes of uh, the brush tool. And if at all you don't want the color that you have painted over the skin, you can simply reset or undo by pressing Ctrl Z to have no color. And you can sample once again on the area that you want to represent the skin tone. And you can come and paint once again. So you can see so when you paint on the forehead, it looks a little bit desaturated. So Make sure the color that you chose is going to work perfectly for that given area. For example, the forehead. So you can see how desaturated that is going to be looking. So you can sample from another area of the skin. So I feel like the hand has a better looking kind of skin. So I'm just going to use that and paint over the rest of the skin of our subject. And you can see this tends to make the skin look oversaturated. But don't mind about this because, like I said, you're going to be fine-tuning this later on. So I'm just going to paint on the skin, just like that. And you can see the skin is now looking better and more professional in this case. So I'll paint on each and every area, like the hand, the fingers, and every single area that has or contains skin tone to create some kind of evenness between the skin tones or skin color and if at all you make a mistake while you're doing all this you can simply come and perfect that later on using the eraser tool 
and the work of the eraser tool is simply to erase as the name suggests. So I'm just going to paint while avoiding the makeup of the subject or the model in this case. So you can see that we have painted on the skin. So you're not perfect, like I said, you can get the eraser tool. So get the eraser tool or you can use E on the keyboard. Make sure it is on brush and opacity and the flow is at 100% and you can erase it from the hair. Remember, we are painting while still selected on the empty layer that we created. So you can erase the effect from the eyes or some areas that we did not want to be affected in the first place, like this area in this case. So after painting on the skin area, it is time to fine tune the effect. So press Ctrl D or you can use Command D on the keyboard to deselect the active selection. And you can come the opacity and reduce on the opacity so that the effect can look a little bit more realistic. So I'm just going to go with around 49%. So if at all the skin is looking a little bit oversaturated still, just come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And make sure you select the reds. So remember, skin tones lie uh, between the reds and oranges. So for this case, we're just going to be using the reds come the lightness and take down the lightness until when that color is a little bit muted or reduced to your liking. So you can add one final adjustment layer, which is the black and white adjustment layer, and come and change the blend mode from normal to multiply and simply reduce on the opacity. Remember, the multiply blend mode is going to always uh, darken the image. So after you have done that, the next thing is going to be, you can even add one final adjustment to reduce on the amount of the reds. So just come and create a color balance adjustment layer and come to the midtones and simply come and add a tiny bit of color or greens to the midtones. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit, which is about, I think one is okay. And let me put all this in a group and I show you the before and after. So I'm just going to, to use shift and put all this in a group and press ctrl g and you can see the before and after for the color grading process and by the way to fine tune the blacks even more you can come and open up the group and use selective color and you can come the science and take up the sun slider of the blacks to make the image a little bit more cinematic and have those pure blacks and this is the before and after so this is for the very first technique and by that, for a second technique, simply come. You're just going to hide this one briefly. So for a second technique, we are going to be using the gradient map option or tool when it comes to Photoshop. So just come to the background image and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J on the keyboard. So this is for the empty layer. So I'm just going to name that to empty layer. So for the gradient tool, Create an empty layer from the background image and after creating it, just come the adjustments and come and select gradient map. So after selecting gradient map, simply come and turn off or hide the gradient layer and click on the gradient icon. So for this, we basically want to sample color from the skin. And before sampling, you're just going to come and add contrast to the image. So select the background image and simply come to the brightness or contrast and you can simply come and add more contrast to the image so just come back to the gradient icon and select it so in select the gradient icon it is going to open up the properties but if at all it is not showing properties just come to window and make sure properties is checked in this case so in come to the properties we just want to sample color from the gradient layer so just make sure the gradient icon is selected and left click on the gradient image right here and you can sample color from the midtones the highlights and the shadows so left click on the darkest pointer or the left hand pointer so you left click and left click on the color option and zoom in and choose a darkest point of the skin tone so that is the darkest point of our skin tone in this case don't choose a black area choose the darkest point of the skin tone click ok click on the brightest pointer and left click on the color option and you can now come back and choose the brightest color in the skin or the skin tone. 
So I'm just going to choose this as my brightest color and I'll click OK. Then click in the middle, make sure the location is set to 50 and left click on the color option. So for this mid-tone, make sure I choose a slightly warm color and just come and click OK. So you can see that we have sampled colors from mid-tones to the brightest color. So you can see for a brightest color, you can even modify that even more. So I'm just going to choose once again on the brightest color of our model skin. So you can even warm that up a little bit more. So click OK. So you have sampled from the darkest to the brightest point of the skin. So after doing this, we are simply going to come and click OK. Then activate the gradient layer, change it from normal and change it to color. And you can see that the effect is going to be affecting the overall image. So when this is affecting the overall image, select the white layer mask and press Ctrl I, or you can use Command I on the keyboard to invert the effect. We're going to come and get the brush tool, make sure the hand is set to zero, the mode is normal, or pass at 100%, flat 100%. Make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. Or to reset, you can simply left click on these two tiny color swatches. And after doing that, make sure you have black and white on these two colors. So make sure white is the foreground color by using the arrow keys. So after we have done that, we can now zoom in and start painting using a white brush on to the image. So you can see it is going to produce basically more of the same results like we had in the very first place. So make sure you take time as you're painting on the skin. So I'll just do this quickly because I don't want the tutorial to be a really long one. So I'll just paint on the skin just like that. And you can see by just doing this, we are having an even looking kind of skin tone in this case. So after I have painted on the skin or each and every area that has skin, and by the way, if I told you, you accidentally paint on an area that you did not want to paint in the first place, this is what you have to do. So make sure you switch the brush back to black and black is going to erase or rub away the effect from that specific area. So right now the effect is too much. Remember to always calm the opacity and reduce on the opacity so that the effect can look a little bit more natural and realistic. So when you find that the skin tone is a little bit too orange, simply come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Select the reds and you can take down the lightness of the reds just like that to your liking to around negative 8 and create a black and white adjustment layer and change the blend mode from normal to multiply and reduce on the opacity so that the effect can look better and a little bit more realistic. Then after doing that, let's add the color balance like we did in the first step or process. So I'm just going to use color balance. Come to color balance and add a tiny bit of greens to our mid-tones just like that. So let's add the black and white cinematic vibe. So just come to blacks right here under selective color and take up the science just like that to around three in this case. So I'll put all these in a group, shift and click on the lowermost color, press Ctrl G or you can use Ctrl G. And this is going to be the gradient method. So let's compare and see which one works best. And if at all you prefer one, you can drop that in the comment section. So I just want to show you how you can easily do this. So you can choose the method that works best for you. So you can see the gradient option before and after. Then this is the one for the empty layer before and after. They are basically close or almost identical. So this is how you can easily achieve the best kind of skin tones in Photoshop. And if at all you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you are not yet subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and seeing you more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.